Welcome to this session. We're going to be looking into the earth element and all the qualities of earth that really we can feel in our body, such as the bones, such as the teeth, such as these really solid structures. The body is very tangible and the earth element gives solidity to objects. So we can also relate to the earth that we're sitting on, the earth that we see outside of us. And how can that help us in our practice? How can it help us to ground? How can it help us to feel more stable, secure, and to trust more? And so let's work with that in today's practice. And before we begin, I would like to inspire you with a quote or a verse rather from this ancient text. It's the Vijnana Bhairava Tantra, um, a lovely translation called the Radiant Sutras by Lauren Roche. And he says, the body is made of earth and gold, sky and stars, rivers and oceans, masquerading as muscle and bone. Every substance is here. Diamonds and silver, magical elixirs, ambrosia that gives visions and herbs that nourish and heal. The foundation of the planet, a mortal magnetic iron circulating in the blood. Every element in you loves the other. The earth loves the rain. The sky loves the sun. The sun loves the space it shines through. And space loves everyone equally. In meditation, luxurate in knowing this deep and simple truth. Every cell is an organ of sense infused with majesty. Every cell is an organ of sense infused with majesty. Mm. So I love this verse so much. When it talks about the body is made of earth and gold, sky and stars, rivers and oceans, masquerading as muscle and bone, it brings me into this place where I start to really honor the body. I start to transfigure the body. It comes into a much more magical place where I can appreciate it. And so let's try to do that in this practice. Let's really start to honor our body like never before. Let's treat it with respect and kindness and see how that feels, yeah? Might be really different to what we're used to doing in yoga because normally we're like, ah, this feels really tight or we focus on the tension. So we're gonna focus on how to honor the body in this practice and the earth element. Okay, so let's just gently close our eyes for a few moments. And you can also keep them a little bit open, just look down at the ground. And we wanna begin with a very grounding practice to bring us into the earth. And so just a natural breath and observe that breath in the nostrils. We can feel the solidity of our physical body. We can feel the legs pressing down into the ground beneath us, the perineum, the sitting bones. And from that place, the pelvic bowl, the hips, up through the abdominal area, the spine, the chest, the lungs, the heart, the shoulders, the arms, the hands and fingers. 
and all the way back up again through the shoulders into the neck and throat and up into the face. Try to feel the shape of the face and the way the skin holds everything together. Feel your teeth with the tongue. Feel how hard the teeth are, how solid. Feel the roof of the mouth with the tongue. And feel the way the top lip and the bottom lip press together and that line where they meet. And feel the top eyelid and the lower eyelids. Again, that line where they meet. And feel the whole of the face relaxing. Feel the shape of the head, the shape of the body as you sit here. Honoring the body, breathing into it now and seeing if you can really breathe into every cell. Every cell is infused with majesty. Try to bring that through the breath. So we're having a very beautiful breath that honors and nurtures the physical body. So we can breathe into every, every finger, every cell, every toe. And let's start to feel the vibration a little bit more as we come into Brahmari humming bee breath. A very beautiful soothing breath that can also help to calm and to ground. So we do a deep breath in and on the exhalation and again deep breath in. to feel this humming in all of the body. Have a look and see if you can feel a tingling inside from the residue of sound. Good, and let's softly bring the hands to the face and just start to feel the body, feel the jaw, massage any areas that feel a little tight. I feel the bones, feel the flesh, feel the skin. And go up into the temples, up through the sides of the head and the ears. The ears are so good to massage. You can go right up the outer ear. And right down again. Not too quickly, really feeling and then pulling the lobes. Good, and then pressing on the ears and releasing and then into the head.
stimulating and massaging the head and the scalp. And what's really nice is to get it to the base of the head, just putting the hands, very soothing, one hand here and one hand on the belly. So my hand is at the back of the head where the head meets the neck. And just breathing here. If ever you feel anxious or stressed, or if there's been some shock, this is really calming, really soothing. And just try to feel the soothing effects of the hand being at the base of the head. Good. And then let's take one foot and bring this touch. It's a way of honoring the physical body, the feet that walk on the earth, yeah? And they walk everywhere, they take us everywhere. It's a really nice practice to massage them every day. And as you're doing this, you can be really seeing if you can appreciate, yeah? Normally, we don't appreciate the physical body until it uh, gets sick <laughs> or we lose a toe <laughs> or something happens and then we're like, oh, I didn't appreciate it while I had full health or mobility. So trying our best to remember to appreciate this body and then just hold the feet, hold the feet and breathe into them. And really connect. We're trying to, in yoga, reconnect with our body. Feel it even more. Listen deeply. As the body is so wise. Let's come to the heel. The Achilles tendon area. And then this center in the middle. They say that's where all the organs, in reflexology, all the organs are there. So we can help our physical body by massaging this place. Good. And then just bringing the legs out and feeling the foot that you've just massaged. Relax. And see if it feels different to the left one. Okay, let's try the left one. When you're massaging, quite often we can just go into like, dee 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 dee, <laughs> like, but really go slow and feel the pressure, feel the sensation, maybe close the eyes and breathe. So it's more of a mindful practice. We're getting to reconnect with the sensations in the body. It's very powerful. Come into the holding of the foot and the toes. And then to the heel, the Achilles tendon area. And then to all the tender part, I think. <laughs> it's tender in me, this, especially on the inner side of the foot. Massaging all of that. And then just holding again, holding and breathing in from the heart through the arms as you exhale love and appreciation for this foot. Good, and then release. And then feel the left foot and the right foot. Good. And just take a few deep breaths. We're gonna do a very grounding practice today and we're not going to move up from the floor. So we'll be down on the floor. Uh, we're just going to begin with 
postures that open the root chakra, and so which bring energy into Muladhara chakra or the root energy center, which is located in the perineum. So we're just going to come into Baddha Konasana, butterfly pose to begin with. And you may not have your knees down on the floor, so you can take some cushions under both knees. You can sit up on a cushion if you want, but just make sure that you're comfortable because we're going to be here for a, a few moments and trying to first see which part of the physical body is being opened. So I bring my attention at the beginning to the physical body and I'm looking into the posture and to see which part is it opening. It's not my shoulders, it's not my spine, it's my pelvic bowl, it's my hip area. So I'm going to breathe down into that place. And what's beautiful is when we breathe down into the pelvic bowl area, it's, we become very grounded. We become calm. So see if you can feel this kind of grounding, calming attitude. We can bring this attitude with us. We're energizing Mula Dara Chakra. Mula means root. So we can feel like we are also sending roots down into the ground. And when we do that, we feel really stable, really secure. At the same time, as our invisible roots are going down into the ground and we're pressing down with the legs and with this area and the feet, then we can also feel the energy of the earth coming up into our body. Maybe, maybe you can feel like this very subtle movement energetically rising up. And don't worry if you don't. We're just seeing if we can connect. And we remember that the earth is a planet that's floating in space and it's pulsating with energy. It's so potent and so rich and so vital that it's nourishing us. And when we bring our attention to it, we can really increase that nourishment. And so in yoga, what we can do is lift the pelvic floor. And it's like you're encouraging the flow of energy to come in even more when you lift the pelvic floor, lift the perineum area, which is called Mula Bandha. And so we pull in the energy, which nourish, nourishes the root energy center, which leads to greater vitality, a sense of stability, security, and trust. So we can lift the perineum and then we can relax. And then you might feel like you just want to stay without moving anything and observe for a moment. And then you could do that again. It's like you're playing with the earth energy. Just a few more moments. And something we can do to release tension also is to sigh, to use sound. So we'll breathe in. Breathing into the hips and then exhale. Ha. And again, deep breath in. Ha. together and just straightening the legs. Another posture that we can do for the earth element which is really powerful is Pachimottanasana. 
So with the legs straight, this is a forward seated bend. If you feel like you're falling back this way, you can put your cushion like a wedge, like a door wedge, just under. I like to just put it under the kind of the base at the back, like I'm wedging open the door and it helps me to stop falling back. If you can't reach your feet, then you can use a strap. And just take a few moments here. And just allow the body to come into a comfortable place. And then when it feels like you could maybe move a little bit more, you can creep your hands down the strap. But we don't want to do this. So try to elongate the spine. If you don't need the strap, hold the sides of the feet. Take a few breaths and we're going to breathe into the earth. Yeah, so we're inhaling and our exhale is coming down into where the body is connected to the earth. So we're grounding in and again in your own time. And if you feel like you can dissolve a little, melt or let go of the body, then you can come into a more yin style forward bend. And we're going to keep the attention down in Muladhara Chakra, the perineum, staying in that posture and breathing. Let the body become heavy. Totally relaxed. And last few breaths here. On this last breath, we're going to take a deep breath in. And exhale. Oh, and just rock a little bit from side to side. And come up. Feel the effects. Hands beside the hips. Feeling the effects. Hopefully calming effects in that posture. We'll just do a little counter pose for the back. So you can bring your hands behind you and come into table. So the feet are open hip distance and we're rising up. Nice counterbalance for the forward bends. Breathe, press down into the hands and the feet, lift the hips a little higher. And exhale, down. Good. And let's come into a right leg bent in the forward bend. This is called Janu Shashasana. So I'll turn this way. You can see my right sole is at the side of the left inner thigh. And I'm going to rise up. And exhale, reaching for that foot. Again, using the strap if you need to. Inhale, rise, lengthening the spine. And exhale, slowly melting down. So we're going away from like this pushing and forcing and pulling to the exhale helps you to earth. It helps you to surrender and to let go. So use the breath to help you. Inhale lengthens the spine and the exhale brings us into a very, very comfortable place, very soft. You can relax the head down 
And just feel that shape as you are down there. Feel what's going on in your body. Feel the hamstrings of the left leg stretching. Make sure that's not too intense for you. If it is, come up a little bit. So it's very, very important that we find our edge. You can be here. You can also be up higher like this. And last breath. And then we're going to come all the way up. We're going to bend the knee and take our hand under the foot. And then we will lift, either keeping it uh, bent or it can be straight, depending on your level of flexibility. But keep the back lengthening up. So we're like this and we're looking up to the toes as well, really lifting up through the spine and breathing while grounding down. Feel what's grounding down the buttocks and the right leg. And we want this to be stira sukham asanam. Stira sukham asanam is from the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali. And he talks about stira sukham asanam, that the posture is steady and it's comfortable. And so we're remaining steady and I'm comfortable. If I'm not comfortable, then I'm just wanting to get out of the posture. I want to relax my shoulders down and I want to really lift up and find the comfort. And then I'm going to take my right hand behind me. And I'm going to hold, so your leg might be like this, or it might be straight. I'm going to do a little twist and look behind and breathe. Good. And then I'm going to come back to the front and take this leg around. And we're going to rock the baby. <laughs> So if this doesn't, if it's too much for you, you can put one hand here and one hand here. But just have a look at that hip as well, that left hip. Turning it around. We're really working in the area of the pelvic bowl, the perineum today. The grounding, the earth inside the body. Good, and seeing if we can connect again with the feeling and the sensation. Let's come into straight legs and close the eyes and see what you feel. Have a look in the pelvic area and the legs. Good, and now let's do the opposite leg. We'll take the left leg in. And we're going to come into Janushasana, sorry, on the other side. We're going to inhale and rise. Exhale, reach. Again, if you need the strap, you can have a strap or a scarf. And then inhale, lengthens the spine, exhale, brings you down deeper. Bring in the head in alignment with the spine so it's not up and it's not down, it's in the middle. And then we slowly start to surrender into the posture. Every exhalation brings us deeper. We're aware of the perineum, we're inhaling into the body, exhale to the perineum, inhaling and exhaling to the perineum, feeling the earth underneath the root chakra, feeling the heaviness of the body, the solidity of the body, and honoring that. Last breath here. And then rising up. Good. We're going to bend that leg. 
and slowly see it's the same posture very similar but now we are in our balance we're looking up to the toes reaching pressing down whatever's on the ground you can even smile at your toes <laughs> as we were massaging them before sending them lots of love and now we can see them and we're going to take the right hand onto the inside and the left hand and turn. And just see what that feels like in the spine. Good. And coming forward into rocking the baby. This is like a meditation where every time when we shift the posture, we find a different area, yeah, where the sensations are. So you, you're, then your attention is following the sensations and seeing how they are. And if we don't pay attention, if we're not mindful, then we can hurt. We can just hurt the body. So it's very much a mindfulness practice, yoga. And then you can turn and you can feel, how does that, is that like a smooth rotation? The head of the femur bone in the hip socket. Is it smooth or is it clunky? <laughs> this actually helps the production of synovial fluid. It helps you to keep those hips lubricated, which is great. As we age, we really need that. Good, and again, bringing the legs forward and feeling the after effects of what we've just done. Taking a few breaths, slow breaths, no rush. We're grounding down into the earth, we're becoming calm and stable like the earth. There's a beautiful poem by Mary Oliver that I love, feel like it relates to the earth element. And it says, you do not have to be good. You do not have to walk on your knees repenting. You only have to let the soft animal of your body love what it loves. And so this part of you don't have to walk on your knees repenting it's like you don't have to be pushing and forcing. You can just let the soft animal of your body love what it loves. Mm. So let's try that as we go into the next few postures. And let's come into um, lying down. We'll just bring the legs up in happy baby. So we're bending the knees and reaching for the sides of the feet. And feeling the earth underneath us and just gently swaying. And then stop swaying and just see how much you can relax. If you cannot reach your feet, then again, also you can use something to go around. See if you can breathe into the area of the pelvic bowl, the perineum, the legs, the feet. Good, and we'll do the rest of our postures lying down. We're going to extend the left leg now. And we're gonna bring the right leg in. And just see how that feels, that right hip. 
I'm going to bring our head up. See if you can kiss the right knee. <laughs> Honoring the body. <laughs> and head down. And then come into bringing it to the side. So we're bringing our knee to the side and the foot in. Hands under the foot. If you can reach. If that's too much with both hands just here. And then see if you can come up with the head and we're bringing the foot towards the head but it can stay far away but that's the direction just be careful of the knee and see if you can touch and then down we're going to bring it into a twist so slowly place the right foot just above the left uh, knee and then slowly Go down, look to the right, and breathe into the sensations that you can feel. I'm feeling them now in my lower back and my right hip, also up through the spine, but you look into your body and where do you feel the sensations? Take your breath into those sensations. And see if you can breathe calmly. Stira Sukham Asanam. From the Yoga Sutras, the posture is steady, it's grounded, and it's comfortable. And when it is, then we can go deeper. Let's breathe into all the organs. As we are twisting the body, the organs are being squeezed. And as we're breathing, they're being massaged. So this is a beautiful detoxification, purification. Good, and coming back to center. And lifting your head back up to the knee. And down. Let's place the right foot down and bring the left foot up. And then we'll take the right leg down. And left leg up. And just a little bit of swaying from side to side to bring our attention into the left hip. And then come up, see if you can kiss that knee. <laughs> And then bringing it into this lying down pigeon. So see how that feels. Make sure the knee is okay. We're being kind to our body today. And let's bring that leg up. And if you can, bring it to the head. And then down. Place the left foot above the knee. And slowly coming into the twist. If you have a space here, you can also get a cushion. We, wanna, we want the stretch not to be too intense, so we're like, ah, oh, we just wanna come back out. We wanna find our edge. If it's too deep, then we get another cushion and we make it the perfect depth. Breathe into the abdominal area. Breathe into the left hip. Feel everything stretching, all that physical body, the bones, the fascia, the muscles. Good. And slowly coming back. And let's bring our legs up to finish. And just a very gentle rock from side to side. What I love to do when I've been working on the hips is to rotate them like this, out and in. So now you can feel the rotation in both femur, the head of the femur bone and where it goes into the hip socket and do it the other direction 
And then rise up and give yourself a big, big squeeze. Saying thank you to the body. And coming into Shavasana, if you want to use cushions to make it more comfortable, then you're very welcome to be as comfortable as possible. And let's take a deep breath in. And exhale. And again, deep breath in. Exhale. And again, deep breath in. <sighs> Sighing the breath out and feeling what's going on in the hip area, the pelvic bowl area that we've been working on today. And let's come into Brahmari to finish. So the humming bee breath, we're going to do it lying down. And it's a beautiful pranayama because it really helps to calm the nervous system and then we can go into a deeper place in Shavasana. So deep breath in. Mm. to feel that vibration going through the whole body and into the earth and again even deeper of the physical body, allowing it to soften and melt and dissolve as much as possible into the earth, back into the earth, returning to the earth. The body is made of earth and gold, sky and stars, rivers and oceans masquerading as muscle and bone. Enjoy your Shavasana and stay for as long as you want. Thank you for joining me.